out a monthly rental payment that will come to the church. There's an optional 30 year lease term that the lessee, the tenant, will have. If they choose to exercise the third year, the rent payment would go up from $9,000 per month to $10,000 per month. Now, a lease purchase agreement versus a lease, what's the difference? When we sign the lease purchase agreement, our tenant will have an exclusive right to purchase our property at any time during either the two-year lease term or the third year if they exercise the third-year option. So, if we sign this deal, our global banker sign that says for sale will come down because our tenant will then become our buyer. They have an exclusive option to purchase the property. Now, during the lease term, they're just a tenant. So they pay us rent, we're the landlord, but at any time during the three-year term, they can say, okay, we're ready to purchase the property, we go to the closing table, and then we sell it to them. As long as they're in the property as a tenant, it will be a, what's called a triple net lease. That means that they're responsible as the tenant for all expenses, insurance, maintenance, utilities, everything. So we won't have any financial obligations for this property incidental to their use of the property. We'll still be the owner, we'll still pay the bank, but we won't have to pay operating expenses for this building. They will be responsible for those. The lease term will begin when we vacate the premises. So as long as we're here, as long as we're using this facility, and we will continue to use the facility while we construct our new property, just as we are today, there won't be any interruption in our use of the facility. While we're here, we're occupying the premises, we're not going to ask them to pay us rent. That wouldn't be right. They're not going to be paying us rent until we vacate. What we are going to allow them to do is to use the property during non-peak times. In other words, when we're not using it, be it Wednesdays, Mondays, Sundays, they can come to us and say, hey, we'd like to have an event on this particular time. As long as it doesn't conflict with our schedule, we will allow them to do that. Now, they're not going to be paying us rent during that time, remember, but what they are going to do is they're going to help us out with utilities and with cleaning costs whenever they do use the property. And frankly, we want them to use the property when it doesn't conflict with our schedule so that they can build their congregation because they're going to be a startup ministry. We want them to be ready to go whenever they take over. We want them to grow and want God to bless them. Now, the purchase price of the property will be $2 million. That's non-negotiable. 